Hello, welcome to this channel. Let's see what's coming up. Me showing off my PC, plus I'll be unboxing a new keyboard. Before we have a look at my PC, I'll tell you a little bit of history. The company name is CMS Computers in manufacturing desktops, laptops and tablets. They primarily trades under brand SueStorm. The company started in 1993 and based in Warrington, UK, they gone in partners with ASUS. Since there's no built-in DVD disk drive, I've bought this ASUS Blu-ray disk drive because I do DVDs and all that from my other filming that I do. There's the power button, there's the 3.0 USB and 2.0 USB and the headphone jack and the mic jack and there's the lo 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 loading light. There's the socket power cable slot Here's the on and off switch. Here's the HDMI and DP port. There's also the antennas for the Wi-Fi. We've got two USB ports at the back. Two 3.0 USBs look like it. Spare HDMI port, VGA port and a DVI port old mouse and old keyboard ports GeForce GTX 16 Asus a WD Blue 500 gigabyte SSD I bought a 4 terabyte WD Blue hard drive from PC World for the extra memory. You got the cooling fans for the CPU and the cooling fans from the cool masters to keep the whole thing cool and not too hot. My PC is a Intel R Core TM i5 904F CPU and 290 GHz. It's got 16 gig of RAM. It's a 64-bit operating system x64 based processor. I got this PC also to do my video editing. And there you have it. My inside gaming PC. Bought this PC because it's the high range. I got it from Argos for £799. But when you look on there now, it's no longer in their store or online. I think when you call it ZooStorm, ZooStorm is for like normal computers and laptops. And I think Stormforce is like a top of the range gaming PC because they got some of the parts from ASUS. Now let's look at my PC monitor. It's an HP. They first started on January the 1st, 1939, 82 years ago. They were known as Hewlett Packard and in November the 1st, 2015, they changed their name to HP five years ago. They are based in California, United States of America. It's got ambient lighting, height adjust. Also, when you put it on a monitor mount, you can like turn it around, turn it on its side. It's a QHD 250 60 by 1440 AMD FreeSync technology. One millisecond respond time. 144 refresh rate gaming display
There's a power supply socket. There's a headphone jack for to rig it up the speakers to it. A HDMI port and a DP port. This is my wireless keyboard that I've been using. It's called Advent. I got this keyboard from Curry's PC World. I'm going to keep this keyboard to one side just for a backup keyboard in case the other one goes wrong. Let's go ahead and look at the new keyboard I bought. I got this from eBay. Look how nice the box looks and how good the packaging it is. I like this keyboard because it's small. You get the key looking thing so you can pull out the keys to replace them if they go wrong. You've got extra keyboard sensor things if something goes wrong. I'm gonna have fun with this keyboard when I do my editing. I like it when it's nicely wrapped in bubble wrap to protect the item. This keyboard looks awesome. I got this keyboard because it looks like an old typewriter. I've got a typewriter but my typewriter keys don't look like this. I like the logo on there, the eagle. That looks pretty cool. This is a wired keyboard. I thought it would go wireless when you pull out the USB on the back of the keyboard but no it's a wired keyboard you put the flaps up to keep it steady stay on the surface make it easier to use also it sounds like a typewriter too what do you think of this keyboard? I'm now going to go and plug it in to see what it looks like with the lights on. The lights are flashing to say it's connecting. Let's turn the light off to see the lovely colours on the keyboard. When you press FN on the keyboard and press the plus and the minus you can change the colours on the keyboard. Also if you press the FN and press the arrow keys up and down how bright and how low you want the light and to turn it off too. Let's show you my mouse. This is a wireless mouse called trust it's a laser mouse and I got this from a computer shop in my town look at this cool looking mouse mat I got this off eBay this is the track I go to watch at Snetton, my track near me. Since because of this lockdown, we haven't been going racing. 
Let's show you my speakers I've been using. I know these are old ones, I don't know what make they are but they'll do the job until I buy new speakers. Hopefully buy the Bluetooth ones. I'm showing you my control pad for my PC. It looks like an Xbox control pad. You plug a USB wireless connector to make the control pad wireless. It's made by Speedlink. I'll be using this for my upcoming gameplay on my PC. This is the mic I use on my PC, the one I'm speaking on now. It's a Trust GXT Imanta Plus. You get the mic mount where you screw the part to the desk and then move it around with the mount. The mic runs by USB. This is the other mic I use when I plug it into my camcorder. It's a red Zeta gaming microphone. It's got a USB adapter so you can plug the mic into the PC. It's got a little tripod with it as well. So you might watch different videos with different sound quality of the mics because I use these two mics. Oh also I use a PlayStation headset when I play on my PS4. So that'll be a different mic sound too. Well, that's my PC setup. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. If you want to see some more videos? Hit the subscribe button and put a comment down below on what you think of this video.